In this video, we'll walk through member management within the department dashboard. The member list is the module on the left-hand side of the dashboard. To get started, click the link Add Remove Members in the title bar to add and remove members into your department. The column on the left displays all active users in your company. Select a name and hit the green arrow to add them to your department. You can also select a name and the red arrow to remove them from your department. Click Save and you'll see your new member appear at the bottom of the list. Now that you have members in your department, you can enable or disable them to receive inbound calls. The green check mark means that the member is active and will receive inbound department calls. The gray X indicates that the member will not receive inbound department calls at this time. Click the icons to change their status. The phone icon is used to display member call presence. The blue icon means that the member is on the phone. Hover your mouse over the icon to view the caller ID. The gray icon means that the member is not on the phone. Now that you know that an employee is off the phone, you can click on their extension to initiate a call to the employee. Your phone will ring first, and then the call will complete to your employee. A very helpful management tool provides access to view an individual member's detailed call history. Double-click a member name to open his or her call history. You'll see their inbound department calls, in addition to inbound calls made directly to the user's extension, and any outbound calls they may have made from their desk phone. Click Close to return to the department dashboard. Many departments choose to have inbound calls blast all active members' phones at one time. Some departments choose to have inbound calls ring members one at a time. In this instance, members are called based on the order that they appear in the list. Simply drag and drop members to change the order in which they receive calls. For more information on the department dashboard, click the Help and Support link at the bottom of your page to visit our knowledge base.